hi guys welcome back to my channel this is for owen styling today i'm going to show us how to cut a flounce you can do this directly on your fabric and at the same time you can make use of a pattern paper okay so you get your pattern paper or your fabric this way you make sure that you place the lining and the fabric together if you are going to line in your flounce okay so and after that the next thing you want to do is to find the midpoint of your paper or your fabric by folding it into two this way you can simply make use of your tape roll and your chalk to mark and measure the midpoint but to make it faster you can simply just fold it just like the way i'm doing the main purpose is just to have a crease line so that we'll be able to trace out the lines okay so here you're going to trace out the vertical line and the horizontal line just like you see me doing okay this is just there to have to guide us to have an even measurement on both sides okay because we are trying to create more or less like a spiral shape okay so the next thing you want to do after this now is to decide on the width of your flounce how wide you want your flounce to be it can be three four five six depending on how you want it but for this one i'm going to maintain three inches okay the first thing you want to do is to make use of whatever value you decided to make use of you mark it on all these lines just like you see me doing okay you mark on all the four lines and you're going to connect them with a circle okay so you connect from this point to this to this to this all right so what you are going to do you can make use of your curve ruler and at the same time you can make use of your free hand because this is actually very you know it is small so you can make use of your curve ruler just like you see me doing okay so this is how you are going to connect the first step okay you're not going to connect to this last hand you're just going to connect the four points and after this now the next thing you want to do is to start making a spiral effect okay you are going to decide on the width and make sure that you have enough fabric to do that so the next thing you want to do is to measure another three inches then you're going to connect to this point just like you see me doing okay so you're not going to connect to form a full circle you're just going to connect like this so the next thing i'm going to do now is to mark three inches all around again okay just to have a continuous circle all right so that is what you are trying to do and you are going to do the same thing so from this point you are going to connect from here back to these three inches and back to this one here and also to the top and continuous like that you are just going to continue marking and continue connecting just like this till you exhaust your fabric okay so this is what i'm going to continue doing so in case you want one side of the flounce to be wider than the other you can increase the measurement as you are marking okay instead of having three inches you can increase to four inches to five inches depending on the type of shape or design you want your flounce to give okay but if you want a an even number you just continue to measure the same value okay so this is what i'm going to do now i'm going to do it all round till i exhaust this paper so if you are doing this on your fabric you know that you are just cutting your flounce directly meaning that till you exhaust all your fabric okay you just continue depending on how much more you wanted okay so here is where my flounce is going to stop my marking is going to stop here because i don't have any other measurements okay so i'm just going to mark here and here because i still have a little bit of space and i'm going to connect all right so after connecting we'll see how it's going to look like Okay, so you're just going to connect this one to and like that you continue so guys i'm done and the first thing we are going to do is to cut out the excess and to cut out the excess you're going to start from this point here just look carefully the way i'm cutting it all right you're going to cut out the excess that you have all around okay so that we can have our original or we have our flowers that we needed okay guys so this is what we needed okay this is what you wanted to cut and i'm going to start from this point continue on this line till you get to the very first place you started from this point okay so just pay closer attention to what i'm cutting and as you can see it is a continuous cutting it's not going to be it's not going to have a joining you're just going to continue like that so that is different between a flounce and a peplum okay all right guys so when you get to this point now you're not going to continue as a circle you're just going to um cut it out like this to this point just to cut it out because of course we can't continue again 
because there's nothing else to cut out okay so guys that'll be all for the cutting and here you have your flounce so if you are doing this directly on your fabric you definitely have your lining underneath you pin it together so that you know it's just to make it easier for you all right so guys please if you find this video interesting or helpful kindly give it a thumbs up like this video drop your comments in the comment section turn on your notification bell and please do not forget to subscribe to the channel so this part is where you're going to join to wherever you want to fix your flounce to it might be the skirt it might be the trouser it might be the hem of your blouse and so on and so on like that so that'll be all for this tutorial thank you very much once again and till next time we'll meet in my next tutorial bye bye and take care of yourself